guys, Amp here, bringing you another Affinity Designer tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be going over the Gradient tool in Affinity Designer. So you can select over here is the Fill tool on your toolbar, and come over to whatever shape you have drawn. In this case, I've drawn a circle. And you can click and drag, which will create two points, and create a gradient. Now, you can select each of these individual points and move them to move and change your gradient wherever you like. But if you wanted to say change this color, you can then click on the point, come over to the color, and change whatever color you want it to be. Now this also applies to whatever you apply to that color, like changing the opacity. And if you also wanted, you can change noise. Now, if you also wanted to change color, you can click along this point and you can add different colors here and sort of shape the gradient you want to see how you like it. Now, right now we're only editing the fill of the shape. If you wanted to edit the stroke, you can come over here and come to context and select the stroke. Increase the stroke a little bit. And you can change the stroke and all of its colors. As well as add different points along your curve. Now gradients are great for adding shading effects and uh, different effects to your drawing that uh, can help stabilize or even make it more realistic. Now, if we wanted to edit a different type of gradient, we're going to come up back here, come back to fill, and you can select different types of gradients. You can have a solid gradient, you can have an elliptical gradient. This one's really good for shading as well. You can have a radial gradient and a conical gradient. All of which are able to be edited up here in the type. Now bitmap will be saved for a different one uh, tutorial because bitmap is a little bit different than gradient. You need certain textures. But uh, that is the basic of great the basics of gradients. And I uh, hope you liked the tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And subscribe for more Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo tutorials.